Hello, this is Heisenberg with photos from the Hedora 50th Anniversary Exhibition, including the upcoming SH Monster Arts Hedora. And here it is. We've got several photos of it, and there's other cool stuff too, so stay tuned. But yes, this SH Monster Arts Hedora has been revealed, but we haven't seen much of it yet. But it's at this exhibition, this this 50th anniversary of Hedora exhibition in Japan, and so several people took photos of it, so we get to see it in different lighting and different angles. And sometimes it's even in focus. Look at that. So, oh yeah, there it is. And the, yeah, and then we got photos of the back here too, not just the front. So yeah, people are very excited, very excited that we're going to get a 50th anniversary uh, Hedora. Well, yeah, we're going to get the, at some point, actually, by the time we get it, it might the 50th anniversary might be over, but that's okay. But yeah, we're going to get a, a Hedora based on the original movie. And look at this, a Bandai. So this is, I believe, exclusive to this exhibition. It's a 50th anniversary Bandai Hedora. Uh, yeah, sort of like a, it looks like a burning, burning Hedora. And then here's next, it's next to a more standard uh, Hedora, also a 50th anniversary Hedora. But yeah, it looks like it's translucent too. There's some people holding it up to the light. So yeah, these are photos uh, that were posted on Twitter. From people who went to the exhibition, so yeah, we get so we get a nice good look at this. So it looked like in one photo, it looked like I saw the price. It looked like the f price was around three thousand three hundred yen, which is roughly around uh, thirty dollars. Yeah, if you zoom in on that to get the price. And but yeah, so that's if you're there at the exhibition. Yeah, about thirty dollars. But unfortunately, I think I don't know how many of these are being sold or how hard it would be to get if you're in the United States. My guess is that it's not easy as you'd have to buy it from someone who actually did go to the exhi exhibit and then pay for shipping. So it's going to be, it's not going to be cheap. Not going to be cheap, but I really like how it looks. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like this a lot. And then the, again, they also came out with the more standard uh, 50th anniversary, uh, you know, standard colored 50th anniversary Hedora. And that uh, is, uh, I think, a lot easier to, to get. Like I saw that for sale on uh, Amazon Japan. And I think that's maybe, oh yeah, and then there's other merchandise there too, like that Hedora tote bag, and a few others. There's like a keychain, looks like uh, maybe a few other things. But yeah, there we go. Here's a nice comparison to the uh, more standard one. And there's other stuff there at this exhibition too. Yeah, here's, again, the, the uh, official photo of the standard one. Oh yeah, there's more. There's more at the exhibit, and then here's more merchandise. Yeah, here we go. There's uh, the suit, not the uh, from the original movie in the 70s, but from the uh, Final Wars, Godzilla uh, Final Wars. And this was recently used again in a short. You can find that on YouTube. They uh, pulled out the old Godzilla Final Wars suit and made this new, uh, like, man in suit uh, short, live action short uh, there for the uh, on Godzilla's birthday. And yeah, so they used this suit. And then uh, with lots of little miniatures, so there's some of the miniatures on display here too. Yeah, you can see some of the miniatures that they made in that short. Yeah, here's somebody zoomed in on it. Oh yeah, very cool. So I recommend checking out the short if you haven't seen it. So yeah, it's Godzilla from Final Wars versus Hedorah from Final Wars. Yeah, about five minutes long. And again, it's men in suits with miniatures and very cool. Yeah, so yeah, so they got him on display. They got the suit on display with some of the miniatures, and they got like these little uh, yeah, figures too. So we're also seeing sprinkled in here some of the uh, little uh, little figures on on tables, uh, which presumably I don't know where they came from, but to me they look like they're like made by different artists. So maybe they gave these to a different artist, and ar different artists made their own little uh, versions of them. And then there's like more like these sort of like wacky. Uh, bigger uh, sculptures here too. This looks like one of the more wacky ones. Uh, but yeah, I like these uh, this artwork. Yeah, there's the keychain that you can buy. There's the wacky guy again. The uh, yeah, but yeah, I like the little ones. I like the green one seems to be popular. There's some of the smaller ones. Yeah, the green the green one and uh, yeah yeah this guy this guy's uh, looking cute. And uh, yeah, variety variety of things here. So yeah, this exhibit I think it just got started, and it's in Japan. Uh, I haven't really looked up more of the details about it since I don't don't uh, I can't go myself. All I can do is like admire these photos, and here's some other uh, item for, that's going to be for sale.
another Hedorah that will be for sale. Yeah, the Monster Arts is not for sale yet. It's just been revealed. We don't know uh, uh, the pricing or how or where it's going to be sold yet. But looking, for, looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad that uh, glad that there's a lot going on for the Hedorah 50th anniversary. Looking forward to the uh, Gigan 50th anniversary next year. Uh, yeah, hope they uh, hope we get even more Gigan stuff. Yeah, yeah, very fun, very fun. Okay, I think we're getting close to the end. Getting close to the end here. Are we at the end? No, we got a few more, a few more pictures here. Almost at the end. All right, so this is Heisenberg. Hoping you enjoy. The Hedora 50th anniversary celebration. And we got more photos. Okay, I didn't time that quite right. Didn't time that, but okay, we're almost at the end. That's it. That's it, folks.